Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at streaming Xbox One games from your Xbox to your iOS device. In today's video, I'm going to demo this and show you guys how to quickly set it up. And again, we have the brand new iPhone 12 as well as the iPhone 12 Pro here. And uh, I'll also demo it on my iPad later in this video. Uh, just a quick sneak preview as you guys can see I mean the response time is just amazing just jumping around you know I was playing Halo earlier today fully online it's super super responsive I mean it, it's better than uh, from the Xbox to the PC so uh, let's start with the basics and uh, just show you guys how to get this set up and running <laughs> So just to clarify, in this video with this process, we're streaming directly from our personal Xbox One to our phones. So let's go ahead and start off. First things first, uh, you have to have the Xbox on and you need to log in to your personal Xbox or Microsoft account. So once we're logged in and on the home screen, basically just go to the settings app. And uh, once this guy loads, uh, we're gonna go down to devices and connections and go over to remote features. And just make sure enable remote features is checked. If it's not, um, just go ahead and follow these on-screen prompts real fast. So once it's tested my system, it says I'm good to go. But as you can see, it says upstream bandwidth is less than nine Mbps. So that remote play feature that I was talking about might not work in my case. And then on the next screen here, it says uh, it works best on a wired or five gigahertz wireless connection. So just a heads up for uh, remote play on your mobile device. So we can just go ahead and go home right now to the home screen. Now don't disconnect your controller from your Xbox yet. There might be one more step needed. So uh, on your iOS device, if you don't have the official Xbox app, that's all you need to download. So let's go ahead and start that. And once that's downloaded, we can go ahead and tap open. The first thing it's going to prompt you to do is sign in with your Microsoft account. Again, this is the same Microsoft account that you use to sign into on your Xbox. So we're all set and ready to go. Let's play. So this app is entirely redesigned. You'll find the streaming service on this fourth tab down here. And right next to captures, you can click consoles and just locate the console that you're trying to stream to. So you now have these options right here. You have your remote control, which we've had before. You can manage it remotely, or now you can remote play on this device. So we can go ahead and tap that right there and it comes up with this cool little loading screen. Now here's the time where it might ask you to enable remote streaming on the Xbox. If that's the case, go ahead and click enable. And uh, it looks like it's gonna connect. And again, the really cool thing here is you can connect your controller now directly to your iPhone. So let's go ahead and jump over to Bluetooth settings real fast. I don't know why it didn't just take me there, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and put my controller into pairing mode and wait for that to pop up. Let's go ahead and pair this to our iOS device. That was pretty quick. So look at that right there. We have the home screen uh, of our Xbox. And I mean, look how fast this is. Like when I'm toggling back and forth, it's instantaneous. I'm shocked at how well this works. So I figured why not? Let's push this to the limit, open up a game of Halo multiplayer online and see what the response times are like. Let's see if this is actually like playable at a competitive level by streaming it to your phone. All right, so this is not a pretty start, but you know. Ooh, I got, yeah. Yeah, don't. Okay, these people are just really good. This is ridiculous. I... Oh, okay, I was like, I didn't get that guy? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, this is a slaughter. I'm glad I, Oh, good one. The buttons are just different. Like, like this is like screenshot. Interesting. I was like trying to sit here and look at like my stats, but I guess that just takes a screenshot when you're streaming. Interesting. Like the video quality is perfectly fine, but 
it's like my input on my controller is really laggy. I'm like looking at my uh, reference monitor here just to like double check this and like that is what's going to be a difference in the game. Well, that need like that right there. Exactly what like I'm not spanning it. Why would I turn away right before I'm getting shot? Like like I feel like if you were playing you know a non multiplayer game, it'd be 100% fine. Can you get away with playing a multiplayer game? Maybe. <laughs> Gotta get the bags real fast. Okay. Wow, that was a, a rough first game on this, but um, you know, it's kind of playable. I mean, honestly, it's a little better than I expected. The streaming quality is fine. What's not fine is uh, when your controller is connected to the phone itself. Um, so for round two, I wanted to show you guys a second way of doing this too. It works great if you connect the controller to the Xbox and then just stream the video stream to your phone or say your iPad. So I'm gonna switch things up real fast and show you exactly how this can work in an alternative way. Uh, if you guys just are looking for basically a gaming monitor, I mean, use your using your iPad as a gaming monitor. All right, so I repaired the controller back to the Xbox. Uh, let's launch up streaming and just test the video stream. Uh, on an iPad. In this case, I'm not going to connect my controller to my iPad uh, since I'm close enough in range uh, to use it. And so this was really the the big fault of my last test is uh, the response time of like getting the controller input to the Xbox. And if that's taken care of, like just streaming the video to your iPad or iPhone works perfectly fine. Oh, rough map. All right, at least one for one. That's a better start than last game. Yeah, the controller input is phenomenal now. Like that is really what, okay. Well, that is really what um, was bugging me about the last game. Oh, that's unfair, I'm sorry, dude. All right, so this is working fine. Um, so if you guys are wondering if you wanna use your iPad or iPhone just as a gaming monitor in your house, that's a great way to use this app. Um, but, you know, the full remote stream just quite isn't there yet. Boy, I'm sorry for these guys. And uh, also, like, the different controls where um, pressing the home button didn't do anything, uh, that kind of bugged me. You know, I didn't really want to take a screenshot in Halo. I wanted to check my stats like that. Like, see where I'm at in the game. Um, and that just, you know, it wasn't broken. It just was assigned to do different things on iOS. And that's kind of what bugged me. Oh God, I should have picked a target. I mean, as you guys can see, I have my controller sensitivity really high. And so that's why when there was like a millisecond of like delay, it was just, it just took my, my person or character's view across the entire screen. So, there you have it. That's at least a demo of this new streaming service doing like an online game. Um, really, it, it works great in-house over Wi-Fi and your controller is connected to your Xbox. But the second you connect your controller to your iOS device, uh, you start to see some odd input lag, which is really the unfortunate part there. Um, but you know, it, it kind of works. What scares me is like doing this over a 5G connection now. Um, unfortunately I did try this before recording this video and my up, uh, upload bandwidth at home is just not enough to stream games. So, but, uh, yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video of how you stream games from your Xbox to either your iPad or your iPhone, and in this case, the iPhone 12. Um, I hope you guys thought it was kind of interesting. This was a fun one to make. Um, other than that, uh, you know, th this pretty much sums up this video in a nutshell. Like, it works great when it works, but there definitely are still some bugs to work out. You know, you can get it to work in unique situations where you have your controller connected to the Xbox and uh, you're streaming just the video uh, in home at, on Wi-Fi. But even then, we're still running into some problems. Um, I could not imagine what uh, like true remote play would look like on this. And 
you know, maybe that's just the, 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 the world we live in right now. We're almost there, but uh, not quite. Anyway, still definitely worth checking out if you guys have an Xbox and either an iPad or iPhone. Pretty unique. Um, I know PlayStation users have had this feature for a while now too, but uh, when Xbox just redid their app, I wanted to check it out and you know, show you guys how it works and uh, what where the quality is at. But that pretty much wraps up this video. Thank you guys so much for making it to the end. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. But until next time, this is Tony signing out.